guys welcome to this new video today we're going to talk about what is kubernetes why right? we and it's going to be a video not a video like a series with at least um 70 video which will be like dissect kubernetes for beginners uh from the beginning to the end so this is the first video and we have to answer the question of what is what is kubernetes so uh, before we deep dive into the topic of what is kubernetes uh we need to I'll take a simple example to try to understand, uh, for example, couple of couple of scenarios, right? Then at the end we will just try to package everything together and understand exactly what is what is Kubernetes. So Kubernetes first, uh, the abbreviation stands for KS because uh, there's there are eight letter between the the K the K and the S. So you will hear sometimes people saying Kubernetes, or they might also so say KS. So that still stands for for Kubernetes. Now, uh, for us to understand uh, uh, Kubernetes easily, uh, let's take an example, uh, a, a ship with a lot of containers. Like you see on this picture, we have a ship with a lot of containers, right? And let's say um, shipping good located uh, inside a container as an example, right? We are going to take like shipping good and the goods are located inside a container as an example to understand Kubernetes. Now, um, we, we are going to have a couple of features. So Kubernetes have a couple of features, right? So the first one is called the container orchestration, right? So container orchestration, right? So Kubernetes actually automate the deployment, scaling, and management of uh, containerized application. Now, if you want to take this context into our shipping goods in, inside a container, uh, let's imagine this scenario, right? Imagine that you are the captain of the large cargo ship, which is the ship that I showed you earlier. And, and your ship is located with containers of various good um, destined to different ports. So imagine you have a you have a ship, and inside the ship you have a lot of containers, and inside those containers you have a lot of goods, right? Kubernetes serve as your navigation system. So Kubernetes in this context is going to serve as your navigation system, ensuring that each container is properly located onto the ship, organized and efficiently and deliver. <clears throat> so so basically. Um, if we want to take uh, to this context, Kubernetes, we say Kubernetes is a container orchestration tool. And like I just mentioned, you take an example of a cargo that is used to ship uh, containers uh, around the world. Imagine that you have that cargo inside the cargo, you have containers and inside containers, you actually have good and, and you are a captain of the ship, right? And Kubernetes will, will be here uh, like your navigation system and Kubernetes will make sure that uh, each container is properly uh, loaded. Uh, they are loaded, organized. They are delivered to the uh, to the correct port and delivered to the correct customer. Right. That's what Kubernetes uh, is going to do. That and all that will be doing that by like a maximizing, uh, uh, ma ma maximizing. Right. So imagine that now we're going to pick up the we're going to pick up a, se a second scenario that Kubernetes is famous for. So which is going to be the service discovery and, and, and load balancing. So Kubernetes allow containers to discover and communicate uh, each other, right? Meaning that uh, Kubernetes inside all the containers that are located in Kubernetes uh, have the capability to actually automatically discover and easily communicate each other. Now, if you want to take the example um, on our ship, so on our ship, we have different containers, right? We might have 20 feet container, we might have 40 feet container and those containers are, 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 are made for different customers for example and they are going to different ports so we might have containers for like uh, the google customer container uh, for like a facebook customer container for like a twitter company a, co a company then those containers are supposed to be landed on different ports, like the port of houston the, the port of mogadishu the port in Ivory Coast, the port in Cameroon, or the port in, in, in France, for example. So, but all the containers in that ship can automatically uh, discover, and there's a network that can be shared around that container for them to automatically discover. And they use that using what the label, right? Label, just imagine here that the label is just like uh, the name that, uh, or nickname that is automatically assigned to, assigned to each container. So another element that, Kubernetes is, is famous is, is, is rollout, right? Kubernetes is famous rollout, right? Kubernetes for support automatic rollout uh, rollback application, meaning that um, you can decide to go back to a specific version of the application. Let's say, for example, um, 
you have deploy one dot version 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, and 1.9 into Kubernetes. You can decide to roll back on any version between 1.6 and 1.9. So you can use Kubernetes to actually roll back those version. Now, if you want to take our example of all shipping good uh, with a cargo, uh, let's say uh, you receive an update instruction on which port to deliver certain uh, certain uh, good, Kubernetes will handle the rollout update for you, right? So, so in, in you know, and this is just to just show you how powerful uh, uh, Kubernetes is so far. Now, the second one that we are going to talk about is a uh, storage orchestration, right? Storage orchestration. So Kubernetes can automatically mount, uh, you know, mount file system. Kubernetes can automatically mount storage uh, into containers, for example. So Kubernetes will do that uh, automatically, like similar to how um, the cargo ship, right? You may carry containers and persisting good, right? So you may have like a, a container that have perishable good. You may have container that have valuable good. You may have container that have merchandise. You may have container that have, a, 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 you know, shoe container uh, that have different type of item uh, inside. Another good feature that Kubernetes has is self-healing, for example, right? Self-healing, meaning that Kubernetes automatically replace and reschedule container that fail, which is a big advantage compared to Docker Compose that doesn't have that advantage, uh, for, for, for example, right? So the self-healing mechanism that Kubernetes has is also very important. Then we're going to have like a secret management and configuration. So Kubernetes also manage secret and configuration easily. And the last here, not least, we have uh, auto scaling. So Kubernetes is cap capable of automatically scaling up and down uh, containers, right? Kubernetes can automatically scale up and down uh, containers for example. Now, that is what is Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is a container orchestration tool. We need what? Container orchestration tool. Uh, that means that Kubernetes is actually um, a tool that can manage container, right? Can organize, manage container, make them communicate uh, uh, each other. And it has a lot of feature like we just saw here, uh, like self-healing if a container fail, Kubernetes will reset that container. You have another feature called automated rollback. Kubernetes with Kubernetes, you can roll back uh, the application to uh, uh, to a specific version that uh, you want. For 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 example, and you have the auto scaling feature um, of that that Kubernetes can actually scale up, scale down uh, container depending on 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 the need depending on the need, for example. And there, there's like a lot of features. That is what is called Kubernetes. And also auto-discovery. Kubernetes can make container be automatically, dis can automatically discover each other. And Kubernetes can actually connect all containers uh, uh, each other. So that's very, uh, very important, meaning that when containers are running inside Kubernetes, you don't need uh, any special configuration to make them communicate. It will be easy for you to make them communicate because they all live in one environment called Kubernetes. So that's just a summary. And uh, you will hear out there, like when you say, what is Kubernetes? People will be like, Kubernetes is a container orchestration tool. So and I just explained what's the meaning of container orchestration. I hope you like the video. See you in the, in the next video. Thank you.